All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to do the part number three and give you the explanation in depth about all this. And uh, I couldn't but create a better title for this video. It's what defines one more than anything. Okay. You know... I was doing a lot of repairs, all kinds of stuff. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you it's all kinds of stuff they destroyed. Uh, I had to fix all kinds of light fixtures. Um, modify lights. I'm talking about the table lights. Do all kinds of uh, crazy shit, actually, to assemble a new light fixtures, table lights. Because in this business, I have not even spoken much about it. They have created the circumstances that concerned the very core of ability to even do anything about it. They literally went after the most existential to video recording um, necessities. So, such as lights, table lights, it was not too long ago that I have fixed, that I brought back to life two lights. They have probably destroyed me inside of this room since 2006 when I returned back from the U.S. so that I will work in a dark The shit went on with a rate of about two or three bulbs per month. It was just the same shit as it was with that uh, Hyundai MP3 player I demonstrated you in video number one. Um, at times I would turn the light on, it would just boof and the light would be gone. Interesting is that in 2006 when that uh, mp3 player uh, it was done in a such a way that simply just um, it actually really instilled fear in me but I'm going to say to you something like this. They do it in a very, very profound way. Before this have happened to me, I can clearly recall this stuff. There was another, maybe, one or two instances of maybe something else that I would use and would have exactly that same result. It would just puff. So I could, you would kind of take mentally wise, you would you would take this as a something that just happens and you have basically no control over. At the time in 2006, I had a lot of money. I didn't. I didn't give a shit about what was this recorder, I don't know. It was just, I don't know how much it was. It was this kind of discount rate here in Slovenia I purchased for about maybe, I don't know, 25, 30 euros, whatever. Uh, that's exactly what the cost was, I think, 25 or 30 euros. And I was thinking, they also insisted me 
when you do the stuff when you purchase stuff like this you're gonna you're gonna hear vrijetno da nikaj dost prida mom and it's the next thing you see yourself you're you're in mk ultra scenario uh next to the people that are involved in it that already are inspected inspecting the appliance for which they guarantee you you're never going to be able to repair one you already have people from the workshops they're telling you you never even went to there they're telling you it's better to give up on it because it's going to be more expensive to repair this shit than to buy another one they already rush further uh and start to push conspiracy forward you will have to even this i was told to clarify and this is also why i know 100 percent that this was a job whether it was how you how it exploded what exactly happened you're gonna have to describe how this appliance was what exactly happened to appliance if it's gonna be uh, I don't know if it's gonna be that's gonna be like a firework you know that that's like uh, like uh, like a like a flame kind of stuff uh, like I don't know, not really a spark something like this uh, that's because uh, this is the kind of stuff happens you shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff you shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff and so on and so forth and so they uh, I'm not gonna be guilty if you're gonna say uh, oh it was uh, explosion this and that uh then you got me and this and that it basically you're talking about ladies and gentlemen 16 years backwards with me having no proof whatsoever about what went on me being scared to death to even mention anything about mk ultra i have not mentioned anything about mk ultra till i actually came to the karlstad now the karlstad in Sweden that was I don't know 2011 when I returned back to Slovenia still I did not mention anything in Karlstad and so on I was still quiet about it meeting the people there was a psychiatric hospital where they had me uh, they quartered me in that area next to not too far from there in, in, in Karlstad so we're basically in an area where it was like a totally MK Ultra area where they always had me in this Karlstad. And unfortunately, I got, I got, uh, I was uh, severely traumatized with forced unemployment, which extended beyond anything possible. Uh, and, you know, it, it would be people probably that would help me out and this and that, but I was just so much into, uh, I, I was completely obsessed, taken over, taken by, by employment issues. And, you know, I felt that, that people that participated in this stuff really, really enjoyed me being, uh, completely in, in some kind of, yeah, you. This is impossible to describe. You know, the worries can fucking eat you out. Job worries. They can. The worries will. Um, they're not gonna warn you out only. If you know, I never believed that anything can really warn you out in life. I did go in when it comes to Sweden, Göteborg. I walked the entire Göteborg from door to door in search for employment and then the same in a car start and very difficult because I didn't speak Swedish language but still I had this stamina and was willing to settle for just about absolutely anything that whatever 
you know I was open to whatever I could get something whatever and uh, I was, was meeting all kinds of people including people who came to work in Sweden from abroad that were involved in MKUltra um, I told you about how it was this MKUltra this exhibitionism uh, it was really um, you know let me ask you a question let's say that you get jerked up and that I get you in my hands and I perform on you torture when you're jerked up probably state of mind probably similar to alcoholism or something like this worse something that you completely lose your conscience and you will only gain enough conscience for to follow my uh, commands to you basically and I introduce you a bunch of really abusive scenarios and do some stuff that really should never do that is completely illegal criminal uh, then I throw you back in your bed and you wake up the next day you get up uh, basically if I give you some stuff maybe you would not even recall what happened last night uh, or maybe you would be in a hurry to your work you know and you wouldn't have time to actually even think what happened last night actually this shit's so terrific that horrific that you wouldn't even dare to think about because you already went through so many sessions like this that promise you nothing other than a problem with psychiatry police related stuff that it's better that you keep your mouth shut and so you meet me somewhere in the street you see me I perform torture on you and um, during the torture also told you about demonstrated you my let's say private surroundings let's say the room what the room looks like inside I took you inside uh, told you about I don't know let's say maybe my sister or my relatives I present you uh, and we meet on the street and I pose next to you I become exhibitionist I trigger interest something that was not likely to happen for what can I tell you 23 years in my case because of the threats before I actually started to interview people and I actually start this conversation awkward by saying that I don't know you I never met you um, and you are just right there and in meanwhile because you're doing this for so many years you've been tortured for so many years psychiatry took additional steps rated you as mentally ill now you're standing in front of me you you were rated as mentally ill what exactly are the chances that you're gonna start conversation with me when I'm saying to you that I don't remember you I don't know anything about you even if you start you get it this is the drill uh, and you don't only if you do in case you do recall the memories about this room about where I live with whom I live my relatives how many brothers or sisters and stuff like this where do I work what do I do uh, but you you recall basically the stuff I have done to you you know very very bad stuff that I have done to you you know whether that be I don't know death threats that I gave you or, or would this be that I sleep deprived you tortured you I don't know for how long we're asking you 
all kinds of stupidity shit traumatize you with a stupid shit that's gonna apply to you in the future that you're gonna be exposed to uh, stuff that really really affects every normal human being and um, I know because I'm part of this circle that you're going to be affected with this kind of issues and right now you're actually affected with this kind of issues and you're standing in front of me me exhibitioning to you posing in front of you for you to somehow get uh, through exhibitionism a clearance some kind of proof uh, that there is nothing wrong with you after all that you're not insane as psychiatrists have written on your record on behalf of police on behalf of your government and so on you don't understand maybe you did not understood what I was talking in a video number two so this is what I want to clarify what exhibitionism is it's a perversion this shit is a perversion I take this as a as a, as a assistance form of assistance help uh, if you come from abroad and um, you really do it to to help me out basically to to do something that should never be the case basically that something like this uh, but you know I I was clear about all this stuff in, in, a, in a video number two I don't want to go into about this stuff here uh, everything they go up they went up, up, up to, uh, absolutely they have gone absolutely everything you would have to be really wealthy to keep buying the fucking bulbs not only repairing a table lights literally inside it instructed on how to repair lights table lights in some cases table lights that were destroyed the very second day of the purchase literally destroyed with the claims thrown in my face how those are actually dangerous yeah I have some lights that could be dangerous um, but yeah I don't actually have intention to move never did any lights and it seems like they especially take the note of it that you are careful with the things and see this as a form of success as a form of some power of some kind they have managed to instilling you to the degree that you become extra careful extra cautious with the things and they extra pressure to destroy absolutely every fucking thing about you and that reminds me of my father who would not allow to even <clears throat> cough inside of the room where he was let's say because if you would cough you would be a swine a pig everything you would be just not a human being and don't even think about if you would want him good and you would say uh, he would be coughing and you would say no I never did fuck that this is this this is just always was my daddy my father this is the way I was and so on one hand you almost get gun barrel in your mouth on the other end uh, for coughing for sneezing or whatever on the other hand uh, it just I'm not gonna go even into 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 stuff man you could you could have a man laying down right next to you that did not 
that had a smell of his feet that, that would go through the house and in and out and or uh, that would just, you know, whatever, that kind of stuff. Don't allow yourself any of it because of what I stated. And it's exactly the kind of shit I encountered by the people that were arriving to this house. It was becoming more and more and more destructive, more and more violent, basically. Peace, love for complete destruction and terror in exchange. I don't have much other to add to this shit. I couldn't go past stuff I did, because if I did, the only thing I would do is I would record, I would keep recording the destruction. And to me, this is this is uh, this is a heavy. This is just a few days. Uh, things we're gonna make an update. What what is what is the things? What is the things? The update. The things. I don't know what kind of update that was. That sucks. It's this kind of update. It looks like this. It started with this kind of stuff. This was the update that I did not wrote. Right? You can see it. You see this. You can see this. The neighbor Andreo stated. Make sure that you saw this because it's the only thing that's going to... What, and what's going to happen is not this. And it's going to open. It's going to be... This should be already completely opened and stuff like this. He demonstrated me how you can actually touch the phone here still and have that. And uh, this, you mean this kind of stuff with the scissors? This could be very annoying like this. When you're asked, drugged up about if you... Um, that he's going to do something like this that's going to be helpful for you, actually. Do you understand? So it's not going to be about everything about whether that was a chance, it was your fault that was destroyed. It, was, it will be also some stuff done like this so that you're going to definitely have a proof. Ladies and gentlemen, Yes, I will not literally have to pay for mechanic was in 2012, according to the right-hand director of police. Police officer, a clearance for him and others as would prove on how it was all my job. This is the video, series of videos, which I intend to pursue through the court to literally point out that Slovenian police have gone as far as using a forced car purchase. Actually, they have used a set of cars that they have completely falsely advertised on the internet. Uh, the audio recordings and videos yet that I have to place online, I did not. Uh, this what I'm going to refer to as exhibitionists were located in extremely remote areas of Slovenia where it would take you one day to get there and another day to get back home uh, it was anticipated my cardiovascular would suffer health would suffer in a process of purchasing this car they were not happy by denying me the right to employment but they have literally used also cars used cars low budget cars used budget low used cars low budget low cost used cars as a form of torture in these homes where i would commute to get these cars i was severely tortured it was really sadistically used to promote uh, idea, reminder on how I was tortured and at times left inside of the car during the winter drugged up 
freezing inside of these fucking cars uh, told how you're gonna be coming and we're gonna fuck you we're gonna sell you this car and that kind of a stuff and then you know and it's always they give you some hint some clue about something about them and it always ended only if you're gonna be nice if you're gonna be nice you know we're gonna help you we're gonna tell you and once you go through all this shit which is obviously all this stuff was done for the police for the sake of the police uh, you see that all this stuff is being used in the end to pressure you as the way out uh, yes just as I suggested clearly along this I am going to be the one who's going to prove that something is wrong with me is according to police director assistant investigator about 10 year older man um, he was as tall as myself I would say 183 185 tall man quite uh, slim in a good shape uh, the second one in investigator uh, investigators department with university degree criminal justice degree probably so I already gave you a good description about this guy short haircut um, and so he said that he's gonna help me out and so he got attention from me how are you gonna help me out it took me downstairs in this room into garage in 2012 where this Citroen Xara car was parked on how I'm gonna help him out to prove this and I said prove you how who how you're gonna help me and I, what you're gonna he claimed that he's gonna save me this is basically what what was what he claimed that he's gonna be the one who's gonna save me and so I said how how are you gonna save me you know and the scenario was well uh, before you're gonna even reach the court before you're gonna even reach the court it's you who's gonna be saving me and said how the fuck am I gonna who's gonna say what how am I gonna save you you're gonna save you said you're gonna save me yeah but before you're gonna reach the court you're gonna prove that it was all your fault and I, I, just, I didn't get anything about how am I gonna prove it was all my fault and said and I said how what, what am I gonna do that I'm gonna prove it will, it will be my fault and so he said well you're gonna be the one who's gonna be paying for the mechanic okay you're gonna be the one who's gonna be paying for mechanic to prove that it was nothing wrong with the car and this was the guy who insisted that car will be sold to me in a good shape and in fact it would be even that somebody would uh, he insisted and it's also gonna be in an audio recording in a part four uh, he insisted that uh, just as mechanic you're gonna you're about to hear in in the part number four uh, you're gonna hear him saying well uh, it's not much of this uh, oil I don't see much of an oil and I say uh, well it uh, it appears that uh, maybe somebody have uh, cleaned up this oil so that you we don't see so much oil you know and that went exactly along with the scenario of this police officer this police officer investigator from the Novo Mesto claimed me that once you, you get the oil residues it's what he demanded from me this is how it worked under MK Ultra you better make sure that you video record this stuff because you know I go to that other part now you're gonna help me you're gonna save me that's what he said you're gonna save me he got my attention how he's gonna save me and then he got my attention 
again on how I will be the one saving him. And he proceeded with the start saying to me, well, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the one who's going to uh, dry oil all that oil that obviously will be poured all over the machine. So then he instigated further that car was... So if you're not going to video record immediately when it's going to be full of oil, the car, you're not going to have any proof about that stuff. You know, and so when we talk with the mechanic who came from the village, in part number two, as I explained, the, me the mechanic says, well, it's not much oil. Hmm. It's not much oil. Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. If you pay attention to that, it clearly can be seen that it's much oil. Already what you see is a lot of oil all over the fucking place. Still, there was more oil. And so mechanic from the village goes on further and he states, oh, and and uh, how do you explain this? Uh, and but the mechanic from the village told me, if you're going to start some kind of conversation with me about how somebody went inside, the guy who came to inspect and that cleaned this out and, and uh, washed this away, I'm just going to say something wrong with you. Uh, who who could he verbally challenged me who could possibly do that and so if you're going to say some stuff like this you're going to be mentally ill and that kind of stuff so I at that point in time I did not I completely refrained myself you know when he said that who would come inside and clean the car who would come inside and remove the oil you know like in a funny sense you know, so if I would say, well, it was the police who did this. Well, that doesn't sound just, I'm going to say, it, 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 it would sound a little bit paranoid, wouldn't it? If I would say it was the police that, that did this kind of stuff. No, so it's again the case of exhibitionism. He knew about all this car. He had seen this car already before. Uh, he also, I'm not going to say what. Uh, reminded me a few things why I shouldn't even buy that car and so on but uh, then again yeah he's got a reason to be afraid to say anything but he did his part accordingly with police instructions that's important to note he did his part according to the police instructions the one who instructed him According to MK Ultra scenario, was no other than this exact police investigator with a university degree. Man, I have already identified at least five police investigators that I should never, because these are undercover people that wear civil clothing. So, that I will be the one who's going to prove that I will be the one who will just let police get away with it, yeah? So that I will be the one who's just going to let the police get away with it. So this is very important for me to know, that I will be the one then proceeded to insist me. It's actually nothing wrong with the car, that this is a very good car, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I don't think that everything is okay with the car because of what I already also demonstrated was false advertisement. Like how there is no rust and so on and so forth in the car. And I did manage to take photos with a rust car, rusty, in front of the home of the seller the day I have purchased the car that kind of stuff so the probability that there is a problem with the engine that car has problems nevertheless exists and that's just good enough for me uh, as far as proving this case is real police at this point in time does not have case 
against me. I'm going to put the link below how I actually have taken photos of the car, rusty parts of the car and so on in front of the, the house uh, from the car seller. Okay, the police against me already have completely lost the case. Not only because I have demonstrated that it was a setup, it was a police setup, but also because of the people I have managed to identify. So nobody needs now uh, to for me to get myself into some kind of uh, with the police saying, yeah, we did this and this and that with some kind of um, well, you know, you're mentally ill, man. You are mentally ill concept. You're mentally ill. You know, you're saying that this and this and this and this and this is wrong with the car. Uh, and on the other hand, you paid someone who came and have published on your website that in fact, nothing was wrong with the car. This is basically the deal they were making. It's going to become a case. Nobody needs that kind of stuff. And then what would develop and what, according to MK Ultra, appears it would develop. Well, yes, we really did this. You know, nobody needs that kind of stuff. Nobody needs any of this stuff here. This is not how I let the police get away with it. For me, this is a big deal. This is not how I let police get away with it. This police is not a police. This police ruined me no less than 28 years of life. And how, boy, how they did this in the most horrific, possibly horrific way. So this is the this this guy. This is this is why this video. This video here, this series of videos, because it's important for me to point out what exactly the police have reserved several different scenarios. Several different scenarios in which one of the scenarios, the police investigator even claimed me that I will be the one who's going to relieve him. And when I say who's going to relieve him, look at this here. This was this bag. This was one thing. Let me see. Let me see what else do we have here. Today, update on destroyed item. What is this? Absolutely, this is not even. These are just. Here. These are just so lights, basically. You would not lose either light, or whatever you would. Any light, any lamp. I would. Have, this is like a headlamp. You mount this to your forehead that I would open was cracked. And so, thing did not here to keep the car. Be, be both the investigator the had, ship, had entered. Like power banks. Everything was cracked. You buy, and let me demonstrate the room. The same as this the one here. The only thing I did was the only thing I did was. Uh, I am just attaching right now stuff like this. The only thing I did was is like a plastic, little plastic, um, round piece that this allows uh, for this fabric to fell off because originally they don't have this kind of stuff, and that's exactly what police investigators alone were doing during MK Ultra. This was the thing. This were the lights introduced into mk ultra scenarios and it was expected for me to fix this there was a whole list of items they knew this is all low budget garbage that you buy in the stores next door this is from the german store teddy it's a very reputable store it's a good store uh the thing however is that a lot of stuff went on through those stores uh, but this is just an item like this but the thing about it is the door next door the door next door to this room the door next door to my mother's room it's been locked already for several months 
and as much as I know the facto that at times it was probably mom who entered uh, that it was a mom that entered this room and switched the items with uh, oh, items she obtained This, what you see here. This is the father's room. Yeah. yeah. You see this here? He just vacuum right now and it's all audio recorded. It's a sound that closely replicates torture which was implemented during MK Ultra when I was jocked up. That's a Peterlin right there, Janus Peterlin did. And uh, that vacuum replicates like hearing aid which my father have used. Now I was exposed to this type of torture during MK Ultra. They would put me this stuff in my ears, so it would whistle and whistle and whistle and whistle and whistle, and it's a sound that will drive you insane. That's because it's a low battery. Uh, it's a low battery uh, indication inside of the hearing aid that would that will pr produce a special sound that needs to be replaced. The battery, and it also should be placed away from. Uh, a metal unless they have made a special modifications but this is basically the way it worked in this case uh, and so they, they did extensive yes and they returned me back to the United States of America where I work as a security guard in a company where alarms and it was not one it was all companies like this alarms would go off night and fucking day the amount of torture and that was not only MK Ultra, but they introduced me sirens and alarms at the workplace where you would go you would sit and for duration of the job eight hours or maybe even 16 hours if you got to chance to work overtime you would listen alarm inside of the company where you were application so yes i did vacuums in my room the other day uh two days ago at late hour um, I don't know what time was it, uh, maybe 11 o'clock, I have no idea, maybe midnight, I don't even know. But you know what, maybe I did this deliberately because he said when you're going to do something like this, I'm going to do that to wake you up, to alert you the stuff you're doing. Well, maybe all through I did cover the vacuum, yeah? Maybe the sound did go from my room to my mother's room. Well, the thing about it is that uh, that's what he said he's going to do under MK Ultra if you're going to do stuff like this late. It's nice that he's looking out for my mom. You see this here? This is a fucking hall that is about as white as my finger. You see it? Actually, you can see inside of the room. Let me explain something. This shit here is done like this deliberately. So that my parents can hear me, whatever the fuck I do inside. This is just basically done deliberately. It's deliberately done like this. This is not done by coincidence. It's deliberately, deliberately done like this inside of my room and the thing about it is it's been like this deliberately since from forever they actually went ahead and they bent this shit is? my no. door they bent my door you can put the fucking head here yeah they bent the door like this deliberately they bent the door like this 
It's not by coincidence like this, you know. Uh, you can also see that this door, my door from my room, this is original door, the way it was done. It also opens on the inside, yeah? It goes on the inside. Was uh, father's door and mother's door, but this is done basically so you can go and you can kick the fucking door down if the guy doesn't want to open the door. Do you know when these doors were installed? These doors were installed when I was still a child. These doors, this house that you see right there, we moved inside of one when I was, uh, hmm, I am thinking, uh, age uh, 12. Do you understand age 12? So the parents, apparently, it appears to me, had a special plan for me. Uh, why the fuck would you go and install for me doors like this and for yourself like this? You got to understand why this done is. My father's door, my mother's door, on the outside, yeah? <laughs> the outside, right? Yeah. So you don't get to... And you know what kind of door the fuck this shit is? This door, this is hermetically closed, the door. These doors, they close hermetically compared Hermetic. to mine. Hermetic means they have a... a so I don't know whether the, the sound did actually penetrate her at night time. But no, the, the stuff they do is so do you, well... Do you understand now the issue behind the vacuum? The sound in her room, it doesn't get in there. Coordinated and really actually violent. It gets into my house, uh, in, in, inside of my room. I get to hear everything. It used to be like this, that the TV blasted. The father used to blast TV. And so when my doors are cracked like this, the sound would go inside to drive me nuts. Insane. The father did completely insane shit on behalf of Slovenian police. Let me remind you, if you watched my old videos about what kind of shit went on inside of the house. But now look at her door. Look at my father's door. I don't know how you would pursue this kind of noise, specific noise, and I thank my neighbor for it because this stuff is actually video recorded I video rec I audio recorded one for reminding me of torture during MK Ultra look we're gonna make another we're gonna make another video out of you know, this, this one this it's uh, September neighbors, the 24th 2022 of, uh, whatever, they're whoever, moving extremely extremely fast uh, so I got to make sure that I also move along. They evaluate First thing this stuff, but for me to finish this stuff is really. to basically upload this video. Bent for my uh, sound like this. Yeah. You can't. It doesn't pull down. It just she goes these things here also. You see this uh -huh, shit? Okay. Page in a psychiatric that kind of psychiatric humor or threats and by the way I did not finish this properly this door that was bent from my room get was bent from my room country. every time as I would exit in and out I would go it would crack because it causes enormous that kind of uh, sound like this yeah so I'll use the key to open Listen to me, my father would get at night, get inside of my room, yeah, and trust me, I did search for the work, and there was no work, and at night, I would stay awake, get inside of my room, and I would be everything except a human being, because I would not allow him to sleep, and he did this kind of stuff during the time when he at the same time claimed that he cannot hear absolutely anything. However, on the other hand, it appears that the fucking mouse shit fart disturbed him at night, if it was for me. So if he concentrated enough, he could hear me breathing inside of this room.
That's why he left the door the way you see it right now. Open yeah. so that you can feel what it feels yeah, like when I go in and out. How the psychiatric domestic domestic violence, how that works. Watch it, watch it good. What happened if, if he got me only in, uh, exit or entered the room at night? I was everything except the human being I was not. This is actually very quiet because I probably... When I was younger, he gun threatened with this issue. When I got older, he began to threaten with a psychiatry concerning this issue. This very issue here. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not any coincidence. This is the environment. This is this 10 fucking square meter prison cell I was inside that Hollywood people used to come and claim me, hey, look at you, such a big property, all this stuff. You live in a fucking luxury and this and that. Nobody fucking saw the reality about what the fuck went on. Nobody knew about it. Nobody. People talk about, oh, you don't go and you don't, you don't, uh, you don't pick up the fruit from the garden and you don't do this, you don't do that. Well, these people never came here to. You would submit the human rights complaint about other issues. The only thing they did was they involved international society into crime against you. That's what the London did. They involved international society to pressure from all directions, from all over the world. All of a sudden, you would have United Nations, basically business people, ministers, presidents inside of your fucking room, signing contracts, signing all kinds of deals. And taking you through the garden, basically saying how retarded you are, that you're not doing your stuff, that you're not doing that, you know. Uh, I don't know, picking the apples and strawberries and stuff like this. How you're eating garbage food and all kinds of stuff like that. The job, employment, and kind of stuff, I don't understand. Uh, next to corruption, next to lies, next to crime, how these people actually really folks from other countries that you are, I don't actually understand you. That's why United Nations to me was a big, big no because united nations created so much crime against me united nations was nothing other than crime against me for no less than 28 years now they act with extreme prejudice with extreme violence against me that's extreme violence you covered up and you encouraged in violence against me it's not okay probably did push like this and it's what it does it does me a very little sound I didn't know that you can actually strain the door like this. Yes, but it is ten times louder this door yeah. that you than what you hear now in reality if you do it. This is a nasty door. You can't nasty. you can't go out in and out. Look. Is it this? Here, this you can't look. Well. You can't, it doesn't close, this fucking door it's doesn't bent. close, door is bent. but it's deliberately done like this. You need yeah. the force to pull this thing to get inside. Look, it jumps, you pull down, it just pushes out. Whilst from my mother and from my father doors are such doors, that you can go in and out like my mother goes like this is these doors are as fucking smooth my mother walked in and out and father too like cats you would not even hear them when they go in and out like a cat at times they would listen right outside of my door and it would feel me really would make you fucking uncomfortable she goes out like this you don't actually hear her when she goes in and out and the doors also close boy like a fucking vacuum door he's got yeah, these things like here also you see this shit i have none you see this this is what kills the sound this is special doors they have <laughs> so they go in and out 
like a cat. They go in and out like a cat. So they can listen at night, you know, that kind of And can also, in case that you're not present, you leave the doors open, also get inside of the room and switch some item or something like that too. But it, this isn't about my mother and about my father in this case. And stuff, so. No, 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 no. We have to do this properly. We have to record this properly. Oh, you see this door? Oh, the door is closed. Locked, not closed. And my mother has a key. Not allowed to go inside the father. Obviously that my mother is doing the job for the police. Now, is it a police officer that's hiding in there? It is. Yes, it is. At times, there is a police officer in there. There was a police officer in there during MK Ultra. When they were doing MK Ultra, he they always had a police inside of their room. Sometimes they would not even have parents here. When they were doing their parents got whatever, they got them to another location, whatever. Uh, they would have me inside of my room with certain people coming in and out of my room but this room father's room they would always have a police officer inside of there room or um, bodyguard or whatever you want to say that whatever you want to say <sighs> um what is going on with this with this room next door what is going on with the room next door well there is this too much sophisticated damage uh, that simply my mother would not be capable to perform uh, that I was exposed to uh, which is eventually proving that there is somebody else inside in there at least at times I know mother definitely did exchange uh, items as I was told the case is going to be however there is somebody else inside of that room the accent on that room during MK Ultra torture during MK Ultra brainwash was to compel me into breaking inside of the room the idea behind what you're about to see next uh, you don't see nothing here yet because there's a bunch of other things that did damage too was to actually drive me insane by destroying me items inside of my room to the degree I would actually go and I don't know maybe even X the fucking uh, door down so I would get inside and that kind of a nasty idea commenced with a torture under MK Ultra, during which I was uh, suggested that it's directed energy weapons that's being used to deprive me of the sleep, uh, that they're using uh, electromagnetic radiation. Uh, microwave radiation the father is going to be doing this kind of stuff at night and all the way to gas gas poisoning how that works okay I remember my sister and her husband I have never had that kind of case uh, or maybe if I did I'm just too stupid to to even notice that kind of stuff however in Yugoslavia it's what I observed my sister and uh, her ex, uh, not husband because the two never got married, but partner, let's say, uh, that whenever we would return to the car when I was little, uh, they would always roll the windows down. Like, fucking strange to me, and I, and I asked them when I was a kid, why are you rolling these windows down? You always have to do this because they, they put the gas inside. They put the gas inside. And I was like, fuck, what? What kind of gas? And they, they told me it's a chemical gas. Already when I was in the child in Yugoslavia, I understand, they were doing the shit like this to the people. And it would be this chemical agent that would drive people insane. Strong possibility because it's something that 
when they were meeting each other inside of this uh, house and they spoke to another the Germans said well we don't have this kind of stuff we never did this kind of stuff to people and this is what Slovenian side was very strong about that kind of stuff about gas uh, about the agents chemical agents used to harm human and so that before you sit inside the car that you should always roll the windows down because you never know and so from my father's perspective what he the fuck was doing with my niece's husband during MK Ultra when the two insisted me even the inhaler for the bronchit bronchitis asthma which my father claimed had and I don't dispute I don't doubt about that um well you know he had a difficulty breathing uh, and um uh, the thing about my father is that you know when you cough or something like that you you put your hand in front of you or you you try to suppress the cough you know to like a normal level whatever with my father was exactly amplifier my father would amplify it so instead of to cough a little bit he would just go and cough and one time he did in the kitchen he coughed so loud so strong he shocked everybody that would go inside of the house that actually the fucking android that you use so that you could if you had a chance to actually record him on android the fucking android he blows with a cough with so loud that the fucking android goes blank man do you understand I actually recorded one how he coughed he coughs so strong so powerful cough that he shut off the ability of uh, audio recorder on a on a on a on an android uh, it, it it cut the audio recorder audio recorder could not fucking and I have a video about this did not catch his oh you can see him just ah and wow well, you, you you see a little bit of cough you don't hear the fucking cough at all because it's so loud do you understand you can be a fucking idiot all the way on one side you try to accumulate accumulate accommodate with everything possible with behavior and you're called swine and pig and everything you possibly can imagine and on the other hand we have a different we have it like this that's, that's really a terror that's a terror it is terror man when you are in a situation that I'm not gonna even get into that stuff stuff I have spoken about that's not that's not uh, that's the stuff that I missed to to mention earlier about what I can tell you I did this kind of stuff uh, they anticipated eventually that I will not only go but when he was at home he did not even keep this room locked sometimes he did who knows what what went on with it but there is a drawer where he keeps weapons inside and under MK Ultra they bullied me he bullied me this is what I keep this weapon when I use at night so that he cannot sleep so he is a fucking asshole that made actually fun of the fucking cancer because the cancer before I knew what the fuck I had because of the stuff they did to me it leaves you regularly with the four hours of sleep sometimes three hours of sleep and you can imagine what what how that feels when it accumulates to you it's not pleasant and he knew exactly what the fuck they were doing with me under MK Ultra as far as the health experiments using all the local uh, store supplies food supplies for the store from the stores we have in the area to test every individual product in me what consequence one is going to do to me 
what the products for them to avoid and which to use for them. Literally, they were testing a fucking products on me through the poisoning. They would poison me so that you could actually hear uh, like the blood pressure would increase to degree that when you would eat something bad, it would be become unbearable and then again it, they would lower one with I don't know medications or whatever they used that kind of bullshit uh, so that's not good so you you got to understand earlier when you saw me that I you know mother shouldn't give the answer like this she knows my case my case is real instead if I confront her because she keeps leaving this subliminary stuff to remind me you know exhibitionism she did tremendously a lot of exhibitionism she refers me to me as mentally ill basically so don't think that this is a rosy environment I'm in that this is a rosy situation I'm in I'm in it's not exactly like this and it's this rosy situation I am in that police actually think is going to use to just basically like this boy you'll be happy we fuck you up only 28 years of life it's not like this understanding the whole thing no i don't have every day the time to do this updates on whatever was destroyed but today i'm gonna do it because it makes sense to me so that i can demonstrate just how far did Novomaster for Slovenian police gone have gone for me to actually pay just as this police officer stated that I will be the one who's going to eventually even pay to prove that they have not done it but obviously that I have done it to myself whatever here is what they had in mind because I'm just going to be scrolling from one video to another September 19, 2022. I just got to make sure that I do video record all this stuff. This was just lately, uh, the stuff. What is this thing here? This. After the surface is properly clean. Well, of course, I, I sand, use a sandpaper to, I, I to clean uh, the outside area. And I'm about... I demonstrate basically here that I repair this properly with the precision with a super glue afterwards so that well if it's gonna repeat you will be seen basically how it was repeated a new one no I was warned if I'm not gonna even video record after I repair this is just a few days uh, things are gonna go bad because of mentally retarded people yeah this is another one broken uh, okay what need to do you don't understand no they're not mentally retarded they, this is called exhibitionism this is not mental retardation this is a system this is a process to drive individual completely insane and if individual would not spark if individual would not do something stupid that would give a police authority to destroy one well it could be used also on a court of law to negotiate with a victim um, it could be this here this is just a a light uh basically i was at a postal office 
and then I call it would be good for me that I would use one of the um, it's it, it's just a reflector it came from China eBay I ordered this on eBay and I was about to open this you're gonna see that item is not new this is an item that's already scratched just like the previous one which also I have recorded already was switched at the postal Let's office see what's exactly going on here uh, yeah does look like brand new uh, yeah the test this baby and see looks like brand new right it's a nice it's sticker working. it's a nice vinyl bag and uh, looks and like brand new. new shape this came no it's not so, brand new for that matter, any moment now when i take that out just like i have the other one i have two like this and i managed to video record for both of this they already were opened, they already were scratched by someone, they were basically inserted all the power inside bank. of these bags. Gotta make sure the phone doesn't... So I'm about to attach this to a power bank. Come down to me. Now it's I all see scratched. It. Scratched. I gotta scratched. say again, this is all scratched, but... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check this out. If it's at least working. And basically see this thing. See this thing is working. Yeah. It's working alright. The other one is uh, was scratched too and it's working okay. So I'm pleased that Please, I got this. Okay, this is a road actually. Okay, they, they are going with the bicycles, uh, even with the fucking bicycles without any lights, without any light. They like that. They like drive at night and ambush you if you record something, talk to yourself or something like that. It's a, it's a fun thing. Like it's in a fashion to go at night time without the fucking light. Yeah. Let's just drive without the lights. This, I'm sorry, I did not record uh, inside of the... Ah, uh, there you go. And uh, here's this item, which still... Clearly, nah? You can is see that this, is not, uh, this is not new, right? You can clearly see this is all fucking scratched. This is nowhere near new. And the same way, just as you see it right here, right now, the item was switched at the postal office by the police officer investigator who comes every fucking morning to the postal office with his police ID, presents one to a postal worker, that should be the lady with the glasses, then they introduce him to the packages which they sort right on the side. I was actually told this stuff, what the police the fuck is doing. And so what this man would do, thanks to the postal, Slovenian postal services, which they keep item on the side as invisible to you, customer, he returns back with a used, worn out garbage and replicates one, the new one with what you see here. And so it goes, years go by and you get nothing but fucked up, destroyed items from no other than a police station. See, there is it's nothing all else for me to say here. I ordered this two is lights like new. this in my life. The two of them are all fucked up. Like the this. new items don't come like this. They don't come like that. This is not new, no. Let's go because we don't have time for this. If I would want to go, so this is what the police officer had in mind. That you see, I'm actually going to even pay the fucking money. I'm going to pay the money out of my own pocket. And prove, obviously, what prove what that I am what that I that I went and I fucking poured the. Uh, Just like before, oil. throw this away. Before I throw this away, look how all over the well, engine. Some glue still. 2016. They, they loved. They loved. And I did not use one because 
No. Always, in other words, what I'm trying to say, always I could use and close, use and close, inside until we get into the this room inside. Inside of the then fridge, ended up like this, and this is, this is the result. The glue is used to cause you damage, basically. I had things that involved the super glue that was emptied, that was stored inside of the fridge. It was emptied, and it was used to cause This harm. here is a sewing I machine I have purchased items. through the internet. Uh, and it's a, I think, a really good sewing machine, portable. I think in 2016. Uh, and I have never ever, single time in my life, have I used one. No, I never used one. I have purchased this in 2016. There you go. And I did not use one because, again, they drugged me up. They brought me inside of the kitchen. Talking about the neighbor here, Andre Ul. Police, they brought this sewing machine along with them. Uh, grabbed the sewing machine, threw one against the floor. Uh, crack this portion right here that you see of the sewing machine. Let me see where is the crack. Right here in the top, throw one against the floor inside of the kitchen. You see crack the crack, uh, crack destroyed, broke the sewing machine. Um, since demonstrated me something how to time. sew with one and ordered me to from now on sew the things now you have the machine we want you to sew your things we want you to start fixing your things with the sewing machine um, this here is probably from the factory still I have never used a machine like this in my life I don't even know how to use one because of what I stated. I have never used one. The only thing I did was, uh, as soon as I, uh, as I would uh, observe this crack, when I, whenever I would take one out of the box, I would simply go ahead and put one right back inside of the box. It makes no sense to me to use uh, things that somebody splittered, threw against the floor to break them. A uh, little talking here about the neighbor and about the police. Nova Mesto police. It didn't make any fucking sense to me. So the only thing I did was I placed one back inside of the box. Which was opened, all inspected by the Nova Mesto police. I'm never going to use this machine. It's going straight back. In the same way as I received one, that's exactly... Six years ago, this is what the machine is. Of course, I need one because they break to me so many things. They destroy to me so many things I have no idea. And those things need to be sewn, but I'm not going to be sewing this. I'm not going to be sewing any of this stuff because of what I stated here. I'm not going to be doing stuff like this. I'm not going to assume responsibility for, for something that is broken before I even used. Never going to happen that. My so this is the, the way side. it went. This is what the MK Ultra was. This is what MK Ultra is all about. So if you want to know what MK Ultra is all about, that's what's all about. A shelf that I wouldn't touch as much as I needed. Grab the machine, throw one against the floor, crack the fucking machine, sit you down. We want you to saw your things from now on. You have a sewing machine. That's all there is. Yeah, yeah. We 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 want you to saw. We want you to saw now. You have. Not a very positive people. Just because I was told. Stop, I'm not going yeah, to talk this about. Yeah, this is this is another sign. The same. This subliminary 
signs, all kinds of stupid shit that's related actually to my situation of my father that is inside of the inside of the uh, that is inside of the hospital. This is all how my father is going to die and you're going to be... Homeless. I alerted mother about the... I feel I was told it's deadly. I would not go into this. The scenarios, daily trauma, uh, uh, rent. About the dead mother, how the son collected uh, money. This is involved in MK. Destroyed. Or father, one day maybe or something like this. Preliminary signs, yeah. that kind of stuff, crap. Mother leaves another sign here in the garage. All about the father who is gonna die any moment. Here is a story. Here, here is a story about catfish, which are so big that they have bitten swimmers and stuff like this. Uh, story about how the catfish ate dog. The guy <laughs> claims that he have observed this Not with his like own this, eyes. Yep. That he there it is. You can see how you he bites somebody, the catfish, which is, I'm not saying that's so true. It happens. Yeah, that I shouldn't swim inside of the Kirka River, that the catfish is going to eat me, get me. They brainwashed, that's a catfish. They brainwashed under MK Ultra about these issues. I demonstrated 2021. They, I was not jerked up in Exactly, this article, we're going to leave it as here. So this is going to remind you. Wow, I see here 2021. Yeah. Well, the people from Slovenska Novice, from these journals, were involved oh, in it. You see how they protect involved. themselves. 2021. Look at that. Look at the date. If you would say something, boom. But it was. Yeah. If you would say something, you know. If you're going to say something, then you're mentally ill. Uh, journalists, owners of the. Uh, not only from the news, from the media. Did you see right there? Newspapers like this. But from the TV, heavily were involved in this crime. Slovenian journalists from the TV, from news, from media, heavily were involved in this crimes. Article like this one here appeared in our house many, many years before they would be even published with the idea that you're going to go and you're going to report about something and you're going to say something and they're going to say, well, this was published impossible this was published i don't know when and stuff like this 2021 in 2021 we didn't have you in mk under mk ultra when did you uh when did this happen to you they told you about that stuff you know what i mean you have a fucking journalists not journal let's go because we don't have time for that we got some stuff we once got uh my mother observed you know, you're uh, I, it's only for the September, right? This is bombardment. Had twice as my, many lemons I have purchased. This we don't even have time for that stuff. Okay, the injury healing is coming along pretty damn well. Uh, this nothing here, really this is, is the update. Along to them well. The injury is bad. It's it's not healed. I had actually pain today. It so this is what my mother throws the time because at all. So you, you throw the money away on an energy issue. You piece my return from the United States inside of the kitchen. Is this fucking normal? Is the fucking idea about behind it all? So she still maintains this. You no. Know, I wanted to take those covers away so it would be bright because that's actually killing the brightness. Basically, you throw the money away on energy issues, energy issues. And now let me demonstrate to you what that looks like inside of the kitchen. <laughs> Is this That's fucking... a light inside of the kitchen, like this. They pressured me as much as they possibly could 
this showing me absolutely every decent bulb that financially quite ruined me any I would buy with my own money would all go to fucking hell because the only thing that would happen is after a week two the only thing that would happen is you would hear pow and the only thing that would happen is the bulb would be destroyed whatever the fuck they were doing they claimed during MK Ultra that uh, they will be using directed energy weapon from the yard they would use to shoot the lights down when I would use that literally uh, and it did happen boy it happened the fuck that the neighbor was on the visit that the light was the light bulb was blown I would come out see the fucking neighbor and the only thing I would do is I would go and change the bulb uh, to see if it's going to be again according to MK Ultra scenario another one that is going to be blown with the fucking sound in my ears with a super high blood pressure sound in my eyes so you start to believe whether you like it or not want to believe about direct energy weapons in this case used whether you like it or not you fucking believe in it they'll prove you this stuff beyond any doubts you're going to believe man This shit they did, September they would put any physician, any doctor in doubts about what the fuck is he seeing uh, goes on. They made sure that... Okay, this is a fake I was talking about. This, yeah. My mother probably told me, no way, sir, no way, son, that the neighbor got poisoned with this fig. You're lying. It's always lying. No way, sir. Let me demonstrate to you something about this fig. Because the neighbor, Maha, also told me, it's my fault that she lost the husband. Boom, I'm going to stop here. You see in this direction here from this fig? right next door to this fig about maybe two meters three meters from there there was this fig that father have planted in probably what was 1992 and it was this fig that my father mostly would eat the fruit from my mother barely got some Probably even in 91 that he planted one because it was nowhere near as big as this but there already was fruit enough that I alone got about two fruits two figs from the tree well you see these pictures here this is the memory that father of mine left me so that it would remind me what happened about 95 96 97 when with the Dr. Igor Kotter, the two began, the two commenced to engage in violence against me. They would sit me like this next to father, and the father would give me a profile like this, and all of a sudden would jump and start punching me and stuff like this. That's how the MK Ultra started in 1995. It started on behalf of Milan Kuch, and actually father got the clearance for violence, from Milan Kuchan. Then he became completely obsessed with the idea to perform with the Kotar together with the neighbor Igor Kotar, Dr. Igor Kotar, on ability to get more clearance for physical violence on me. Father decided because of the stuff like this the best thing would be for this fee. Somebody claim it literally with the neighbors decided for this fig the original fig the best thing would be for the fig to just disappear so it was the friend of my father Carl is his name who purchased the car from me also who came to professionally remove this fig tree for which they claimed that I was the one who talked the neighbor during MK Ultra when I was jocked up that I had such an influence that I convinced the neighbor to eat that fig 
and he suffered uh, a consequence, basically a cancer. And so the fig was literally pulled out from the ground in the year 2000. Not 2001, but maybe even in 2001, removed with uh, including the with the roots as much as the guy possibly could reach them out. My mother, however, stated we never had figs. Well, we, of course, we had them. It was a fig tree we had already as early as four years prior to my departure to United States of America in 1995. I was not even drugged up. So easy thing for me to remember. Too much of that kind of stuff. For some time, Baker is legal. To it. This is not what I even want to get into it because it's important stuff that I actually get. I don't know how many kilos of bananas are this. If nothing. Yeah, if nothing. It's some risk to explain what this is. So oh, this is just no. this, this bourgeois, is this kind of disgust. Uh, this stuff, this kind of stuff. It's just a I think what's pulling in the press is dress go that can have uh it's actually a swine fat that she went ahead and like this she have uh rubbed the one against the mixer thing. The mixer that I use, yeah, oh. you can also see yeah, it's nicely go. glued. He did it's fall me on the floor, fat, but it was actually. not cracked like this. It's the crack really like was this. cracked by somebody Europe else again. Somebody about whom this video is. Yes. Wash it, whatever it was. The mixer should not even work. It should be destroyed by my niece's husband. Even as far as the engine. Oh, here you see me in action of what is a power bank. Very difficult procedure uh, mm. to open the power bank, to access Clear the power bank. To do, but... Very difficult thing to do. And you can see me here, it took me one hour and 35 minutes what to actually crappy. open this with a precision so that I would not Where cause that? damage to power bank. I want to move on. I don't put something like very very difficult thing, very difficult procedure like i said the cover the battery is glued they were destroying these power banks and uh i recall the whole thing about what exactly went on with the power bank once i opened this power bank okay so once i opened the power bank which was basically the power bank I bought in Poland in a store known as a uh, but they when compared to this Mr. Schultz uh, the way this shit started they opened uh, by other people exactly according to him and Ultra. badly damaged too I have managed to observe I have managed to observe that Just as I was told, uh, this I'm USB port is, is different from the other USB port uh, inside with the two latches upwards when compared to this one here that you see right there. So I wonder if this is going to fix the problem because I think it's not going to fix the problem. I don't think that's the only problem impossible um, the battery eventually is even glued inside two rounds and they were playing with this shit on how to mr. Schultz gave the money to mr. Macron an opportunity for everyone involved in MKUltra the Slovenian let's get this straight really fast what exactly I'm talking about. This is what police officers refer to as investigators, refer to as another ability you're gonna have. 
uh, I'm not even sure about this stuff is it uh, let, let's see this stuff here what exactly was it involved on how eventually maybe can see that with the spot yes actually maybe be even an idea is office stuff power banks he purchased about the money to mr macron an opportunity yeah this is not i'm, I'm for, making up this shit. Right this there. so i wonder if this is going to fix the problem yeah this is this is what it is yeah you 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 don't see any of this stuff here as you see it in this year this is what police officers told me we're gonna do this so that means yes they opened this shit you see this it's not the same as it is on the other side on the other side you don't see any of this on this board you don't see any problem because i think it's not gonna fix so the problem i don't think that's the only problem this. So that once uh, you open it, Mr. Schultz we did this from the inside gave already. the money was to Mr. Macron an opportunity. This? On that one, however, you can see it. So this was to serve the proof to me that this already was opened. Yeah, so now because this is already opened, now you have the proof. Basically, this is how they interpreted it to me, this stuff. For everyone involved in MKUltra, the Slovenian police, it was two rounds, and they were playing with this shit on how to open an idea that it be poor. I see the stones right there. Yeah, even I don't think that you could eventually the port. From no, the outside, you it's not destroyed there, only like this. You see. It's not that this would be external damage. This is not exactly. external damage. Not this is internal damage. And this the issue behind this. Well, fucked up, but uh, that's um, money problem. Maybe most likely. Let me just see something here. Did we see this? So that this this is not the type of assistance you're gonna get. But basically, us breaking the stuff and and then what then we will what confirm that uh, you're not insane <laughs> this is not yeah i am gonna try to repair the power bank but stuff yeah nice there is nothing like this on the video this is a uh, okay maybe to even access this power bank uh this is a situation a little bit too crazy uh no it is actually what i stated here what i pointed out moved as you see is actually proven case now uh, yeah it's totally uh yeah but if i would go completely completely millimeter by millimeter Thanks to the camera that rolled on, it's uh, one hour and 35 minutes long. Uh, and because I did demonstrate to you the front of this stuff, uh, I can say yes, I, this, this is actually can prove that this power bank already was opened uh, by somebody before and the damage was done to one. So what I demonstrated you, it can actually be proven from this this video recording here that you see, that was real. Also, I did not remove away the the top portion of the power bank because it was glued onto the battery. Uh, from this recording here that you see here, it becomes evident that uh, there was damage damage that I demonstrated you it can easily be seen right there i think that you can see it that that uh, those tongues are lifted up and it cannot be done from the outside it's got to be done from the inside for you to access this to have view on this they told me we're going to do this so that you can have proof um somebody that knows about this stuff would just check this 
two parts here and maybe I somehow reset this stuff or something like that and so that actually really is making things questionable for me whether I should proceed with it or not No, it's okay. I open it. All right. Okay. I'm like this. Bad to worse. Anyhow, this is not going to open this up and uh, pretty much see what's going on on the inside. Next one. And this is just the stuff that's not. Uh, let's see this stuff. Yeah. I this thing inside here, this, this thing inside, you see this stuff is also lifted up. It can't be done on uh, let me see that stuff. this, this thing inside, you see this stuff is, can be still done from the outside, that's what they said. But this thing inside here, this, this thing inside, you see this stuff is also lifted up. It can't me about um, this this two things this one and this one it can be very difficult see but these are two lifted up as well now this could possibly create a contact because yeah, okay so this when is it's the charging this it is appears it's also could not do it from the outside the other two you still could have but this two did you see right there you could discharging how much do I have uh, to see about this stuff? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I don't have a time for this stuff. Yeah, but it was Mr. Andre Duda who explained that the damage you see right here. It can be actually, nah, it can be seen. This thing, nah, it can be seen that that's damaged when compared. I finally that's what it looks to like. The cover. Right behind. Yeah, you can see that this is this I already pointed out in video number two. Clearly, now it can be seen that that's damaged when compared to this thing. This is straight. The connectors, plus and like new, are not even. And this thing here, like Andre Duda stated, is going to be on this side. On this side, this is what this is the port. It's going to be the connector Used from the battery to charge the power bank. It's going to be everything here. destroyed, he told me. It's everything is going to be bent, right everything is going to be fucked up. Uh, probably that this will have to go to this whole thing. Power bank fucked up. Andre Duda was the And there is somebody I think already went ahead and maybe probably even lifted up this whole thing. I didn't go to wow. that up. Well, this, this I'm sorry for political aside. We don't. As a matter of fact, I noticed more. When you look at uh, the negative pole, this one here, minus, this is minus. And when you look at this connector to the battery, it goes. It looks like new. It's like new. And when you look on this side here, look what it looks like. It looked like somebody would lynch one. I'm going to try to properly power bank. All of Scholz, that was in 2020. These were specially placed yesterday. And now we have... I just realized in Ljubljana, the one here from Czech Republic. That's just a mileage on the car. When it comes to Citroën, I made about 250 kilometers between 250 to 270 kilometers is what I made and that equals to way less than 200 miles in respect to the engine gasket, head gasket, valve gasket 
uh, engine cover gasket less than 200 miles okay I document the mileage and everything so that we wouldn't have some kind of issues with that no mother doesn't want to give uh, the key from the father's room or anything like this and things are just piling up they're just destroyed but you know what this is I did not finish this properly in and out like a So it, uh, it's already, it made me maybe five fucking years she keep this shit inside of the fridge. We I think the police about. have uh, actually created a bomb out of this power bank. Uh, they told me that you have to charge only for 10 minutes and stuff like this. Then you have to wait for one hour. You're talking about the police. Yeah, I placed this during charge operation, this power bank, because I couldn't revive one in any way. I, I placed that on a, on, a, on a plate like this. Investigators. In case no, what's interesting, guys, then the only thing I did was, I hear it's how, here's the mic. You can hear the sound, right? That sound is coming from a power bank. You hear this sound. This is actually from the power bank. Let me see if you can hear this. Yeah, you, you should definitely, definitely hear this stuff. You definitely should hear this stuff. As a matter of fact, here is the recorder. Uh, here, here it's how... Here is the microphone, yeah? Now what's interesting I did, first time I charged for 10 minutes, and then I charge for another 10 minutes. Uh, it's not supposed to be, I think, like this. Because I connected um, through what I have made at home. Uh, like this, a little USB device with a red plus black minus USB. And uh, then the only thing I did was I connected red, basically red, to plus the, where is this here, let me see this the plus, the plus is here red is to plus this here is to minus uh, therefore the black one to minus and the only thing that happened was is this here the sound that I hear, yeah I didn't play with it yet though I didn't play with it yet. Uh, I think this is actually, they have created, why do I think it's, a, it's they have created a bomb out of this? Well, um, uh, let me explain something. Uh, there was no energy in one, you see. I'm gonna turn the lights off so that you can see this. There was no energy inside of one. Nothing. Now there is an energy, right? Because I charged one. I made this uh, device and you can see uh, two dots. You can see it right there. Yeah, you can see two dots. You see, you see two dots. There are two, two of them are. Two dots. Altogether there are four. There are four dots all together. Well, the thing about this stuff is that it didn't charge, it didn't charge the battery. It didn't charge the way it's supposed to. Because there was something here on this circuit board that prevents the battery from overcharging. 
So when I charge this, at least this is my theory, when I charge this with this cable here, wonderful little thing I have made to charge. Uh, I've charged other batteries like this before. You know, never seen anything like this. Uh, really, it's simply because Simply because I think that what it does, I killed by plugging the cable in just for a second. So I killed that what I already think it is. I think there is a shortcut that they have created. In other words, they have created something that the power bank, the circuit rejected the external power based on some kind of circuit shortcut they have created inside. So now when it's charged, uh, I think maybe it's, who knows, my God, maybe this shit is overcharged. Uh, it's only indicating the two, that's the stuff I do not understand. Uh, but, it's got a leak in my opinion, it's got a leak where plus goes to minus, vice versa, and the battery is getting destroyed, potentially can get overheated and blown up, that's what I think. You don't want to get a battery like this in your face that blows up, it could be nasty. It eventually probably better like this, maybe could, maybe could even kill you. It's a bad thing when 1860 battery goes off, 2000 milliampere or something like this. This is 8000 milliampere battery right there. Police officers detonated, three of them, I understand, next to the rear bank somewhere. And next to the river bank where hmm, Klopce is, I don't know how you say that in English. Uh, it's um, where you sit, there is an area like this we have as you go down toward river. They told me if this explodes, it will fucking kill you. They told me. And this was a 178 centimeter tall guy with a Russian face. And the, the guy who was talking to me about this stuff was an individual whom I had met the other day who was brainwashing me mainly inside of the house on what I should write on the media and what not and stuff like this, man. They wanted to have a complete control about the me media, about the news I publish. It was the guy whom I had met at the police station when I went to inquire about becoming father's uh, home care. Because that's what I wanted to do initially. You know, I, I, I just, I have not seen anything like that. No, this is just, it was just time to retire and not to touch this stuff. And go and do something else instead. Or you're going to have explosion, basically. You don't want to do that stuff. There's actually really nothing to else make to add to this stuff. This is you fucking you're just going to move on. Toward this kind of issue, let's say. This is a yebala. I just didn't like the idea that mother prepared at home for the father the fruits because by the time she gets to the hospital, these fruits are not fresh anymore. And so I suggested to her that she should just take fruits with her and prepare. The, the fruit salad for him inside of the hospital. That was my, the only take I had on that stuff. Um, this here, this is what had a big impact on me when it comes to issues involving Uh, 
a little recorder uh, a little recorder was actually the last item it was the item I have eventually retrieved you can see literally from the postal office this is recorded in the postal office it's original recording how I open one Please pay attention, this was not recorded on January the 2nd in 2018, it's a mistake, uh, I was trying to repair myself uh, SD cards and stuff like this, they also went after, uh, it's, it's, it's the whole fuck up, it's a whole ruin, just as I was promised the case is going to be. This was recorded in fact in, on a Friday, uh, September the 30th of 2022 and it's today October the 2nd okay so this was recorded eventually two days ago what you see at the local postal office <laughs> I point out what the police officer told me you're gonna get. Yeah. If you're gonna order this kind of item. He told me this the Russian looking guy with a 178 in height told me this in front of Ljubljansk when the city of the normal messed off while sitting next to him inside the car he is going to have a spot exactly where you see it and it's going to be very 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 difficult to open close to impossible to open the police made bloody sure that I would record this event. It is bent a little bit, this uh, USB. This is my first ever recording like this. Even that paper that you see right there is not legitimate. And there is a spot. There is that spot right there, that dark spot. Immediately I recall it's going to be it. My first recorder like this, I got it. That also is not even as you see, I record that stuff. That's why it's very difficult, that thing. This product, most likely, is not the product I have ordered. 
I am 99.99% certain that the product was switched before I even brought one home. By the police officer who visited this very postal office and had an agreement with the local postal office exchanged my product, a brand new product, with a product which involved in anti-ultra crime. This is something yet I have to determine once I get home. So let's go and see what happened once I get home. Once I before. What is the say of the station, Mr. Cool? But you must pa srajčko vidiš na robu oblečeno srajčko srajčko tako da pošlja je 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 i se spomnio kaj pršu te kaj veliko ja ne ja pa Kaj hoće? Šef i hoće omet, kaj će? Hoće omet, te prvi. Oni su točno šabi. Uredit stvari. Uredit. A ti, ampak je tole majična roba. Išlo. A ja? Aha. According to instructions, uh, it's not supposed to be like this. It's this this thing should be just uh, blinking, basically when it. Yeah, this this is likely that's being done today. This stuff here that you see, actually not today. No, no, I shouldn't say this, but it's disgustingly, disgustingly open. And it yeah, I go home. I change my clothing, and I forget I left audio recorded inside of my room. Rooms doors are also left open. I go pick up the shoes and I noticed this shit it's again on this I'm not sure where the fuck I see this right or not these are another shoes that are being slit same spot since my return home from the postal office the same shit the same kind of shoe um I don't want to go paranoid I am positive I got the shoes base uh, first audio recorder basically USB audio recorder, but I see these shoes are badly beaten up. A police the time I noticed investigators stuff. told me eventually what goes on. Can't because who the police are serving the whole thing that kind. Of Do you know what else is beaten up? This thing has a long, long, long history that you see here. This thing here. This was not the first item. The first time when what you see here... Again, this is dated on January the 2nd, 2018. This is the same day, basically September the 30th of 2022, that's been recorded, all this stuff. Three days ago. What's going on with this stuff? I started to check this. Started in my... The schizophrenia. You know, the schizophrenia, the paranoid schizophrenia. This, oh yeah, this is the part number two, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the audio recorder shoes were cut. No, I get idea that shoes were cut. And you know why I get the idea the shoes were cut? They? Uh, this is all recorded. It says here, January the 2nd, 2018. 
three days ago, three days ago. This was a police officer who was inside of the room next to mine, next to my mother's room, inside of the father's room. My mother didn't do this. This is not what my mother did. My mother just doesn't give me the key that I would have one from the father's room. Even that I was the one who safely placed father's fishing equipment and everything else inside in there to protect him during his absence, absence at home. She doesn't give me the key. There is a somebody else inside. That's either a police officer or he is doing the job exactly accordingly with the police officer's instructions. And it could be neighbor, maybe from Colent's son, maybe Donna Colent's, it could be Andre Ull, it could be somebody. It's somebody, however, who did this shit. This was done on September the 30th of 2022. And you know why I know so? I know so because of this. Today, he chopped the shoes on both sides. Mother didn't do this. Father didn't do this. On both sides, he chopped them. Step, uh, step right side, uh, right outside of the father's room. Uh, entered my room. The room from the door, door from my room was open. Headed straight for this gadget, which I had picked up earlier today at the postal office. And you can see the result. The result is already a broken gadget. Boom. I filmed this shit at the postal office. It was not like this. That, because I just went upstairs to pick up the stuff before I headed to sleep. The time and the date are wrong there. I repeat, this was filmed on September the 30th, 2022. I noticed that during my absence, as I left the item inside of my room, unattended, my mother definitely doesn't fucking know how to open this thing. No way would she ever touch this in a million years. It was either the neighbor who did this on behalf of police, or it was a police officer investigator that was inside of the father's room who did this shit. You get it? Cut the shoes and left me with that kind of stuff. Not a good stuff. Not a good stuff. You see it? You see it clearly. Yep, they are using the father's room to enter my room, burglarize and destroy, vandalize basically my property. Was the property the one you see in my hands right there, this recorder, damaged uh, at home? No. The property you see right there was switched with the property I have purchased at the local office, postal office, as I stated, just as I, as I demonstrated. This, this shit here, this stuff here. This, this was actually only used to trigger because uh, this, this fully charged gadget. This was only used to trigger paranoia. This. Uh, right out yeah, to I'm visit and I this is what I picked shit, up uh, earlier today when I came home when I observed this shit I was losing my breath literally I thought I'm gonna faint over there when I saw this stuff it didn't make me feel good the only thing that whoever did this shit here the only thing that 
whoever opened this thing up and I did go ahead later on and open it up and the only thing I can tell you is that the battery looks pretty bad uh, bitten up from the gadget but it appears to me that the battery was not removed in absolutely any way the battery looks like it have some kind of little punctures and stuff like this however the battery was not uh, removed from the gadget I have seen this that, that looks like very original the way it's um, <clears throat> attached how do you say that uh, well welded to connectors its original battery more likely than not uh, that means that this shit here that you see right there was just used to inside in a paranoia I remember when I told this is why this shit is so important to me you remember when I told you about this stuff here this police officer was about 10 years older than uh, other investigating police officers who participated yeah they basically the guy who came up with the idea that through the car I'm going to be the one who's going to prove him basically that he's innocent that's the perversion that he marched that he is innocent okay I'm the one who's going to prove him through the car by paying for the mechanic that he's actually innocent basically that's how it's, this is going to be that's how he he went against me that's why I'm disturbed with this shit here this is not the item I ordered this is the item that was switched by the police officer before I came to pick up my item and it's also what instructions from the um, from the audio or recorder also confirm however at home it was opened it was opened and it exactly what I was told the case is gonna be at home the only thing that's gonna happen the only thing I'm gonna do is you're gonna find the item like this and what else did I found what else did I find it clearly indicated that device was open upon my return from the city it yes a device was opened from my return from the city but still this is not the device I have paid for this is the device all through the spot disappeared the spot that you have seen earlier disappeared from this recorder this recorder was exchanged at the postal office with the recorder with new recorder that arrived from China for me which I have paid for for that matter I'm gonna resort myself to I gotta see you. this thing has no this is this is already one of four capacity to uh, pause this recording and uh, it's just it's just not a rain everything the way it should there is no fucking date here uh, this shit is doing things the way it wants The problem is the way the computer saves this stuff it's actually the way he feels like he wants to do it yeah uh-huh 
right. What is the service station? Mm -hmm. On that day when I had to visit my father, on that day that you see right there, um, no, it was a day earlier because I did go to visit my father. Uh, there was another police investigator who... They, since like, be a, the crime, they the have done... ...that wear the civil clothing. You should not have a capacity to identify these people in any way. Boy, is this not doing the job. It's not sorting the properly. Uh, that's the first fan. Okay, here we're getting somewhere. Not really. 26. So, really, really should be this here. Cut. Not really. Let's see this. Question if it's magnet. Okay, it's just not sorting out. As you see, this thing is not sorting out things the way it should, no matter what. I picked up earlier to uh, father whom I have father and who and the throw that Joe in was the result. Okay, this was date created. No matter what you do, this thing is just not gonna date created. How about we try this? Okay, it's one, two, how about this? Do it. Pay attention to uh, every day. It's kind of a okay. I get it. This is the thirty. Thirty, but that's not. Yeah, well, you know, this is, this is just, uh, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this device should be charging itself between two to three hours. What is the service station, Mr. Cool? It should be charging between two to three hours. Yeah, and this it should be playing according to instructions I have received on the paper. Yeah, yeah. For about five hours. Uh, what happened that day, therefore three days ago, once I started to use one, was just something that I couldn't charge the device because device would simply display um, uh, just a light uh, a firm light it would not blink because this is the way it should be during the charging the light should be blinking and in fact it was not blinking wow boy this is impossible to actually even demonstrate you because well, this is just the way it is. Okay, so. And it was right after this video that I recorded the other one. So this was the 30. What can I say about this here? Now, it's not showing anything. Really, it's not showing anything. There was more videos other than the 30 and it's just not, it, it just doesn't want to show, okay. So this goes under what? This is the first stand. 
what else is here? Am I gonna make okay, it? one I am using in Officer, then um, yeah, actually, uh, both ones start between soon at the midnight. Okay, uh, it go. says here in the paper that it takes about uh, for this thing to fully charge between yeah. two to three hours. So I already learned that device. A simple thing, the recording will take about 2-3 hours to be fully charged after connecting to computer via USB cable. So you charge them for 2-3 hours. Okay. And what else it says? It says right there it's gonna work about 5 hours. The recording time is about 5 hours. One is once a recorder is, a recorder is fully charged. Also what is important is that indicator will flash while charging right so it will flash it will turn on turn off the light turn on turn off and it will become red when fully charged well this is just not the case with this stuff i connected one eventually before i went to sleep it was already connected before you can say the device is charging now for seven hours and it was okay it's a fucking horror when i went to sleep I attached this device it was just solid red light solid red light that was seven hours ago more than seven and a half hours ago still did not charge so I didn't know what to do anymore once I got up I took out I unplugged this thing and I plugged one right back to see what's gonna happen and then it started to flash let me see this for me uh it says here this in was the a pleasant surprise actually so at this point in time exactly i was sure that this uh if you pay close attention to this stuff it one i don't think that he dirt in one of the uh protected mission most is to speed down a lens uh, this thing is like this that supposed to be like this it's this this thing should be now it's charging right this is charging just uh, it blinking be blinking just like you have seen when it's charging and it shouldn't be really charging for like almost eight hours all right it took one eight hours to charge itself no contrary to instructions you were able to see it takes two hours okay so what are the chances this is actually the recorder I paid? And not the recorder from the police officer um, who promised me this kind of scenario actually there is none basically when it's charging well it's strong not the, it's more to our power that this is actually like us like it's not my manufacturing what is gadget however charging like box out and my original item I have purchased some in my life I got very strong chances are that this item in fact was not my item no i will not say that chances also are not that this could be my item i'm going to explain that to you what is crossing star marmalada passimino At the right side, uh, right outside. Sure that I do know. We'll go. I cannot exclude another fact, another fact, or another fact. What is this? Here? And this is the fact I had mentioned a little earlier, and this is the fact that involves this police officer who said, "Oh, you're going to be the one who's going to, who's going to pay." To how do you say that uh, vindicate me basically of charges uh, you're gonna be the one who's gonna pay actually to vindicate me of charges okay what exactly that means well, what exactly that means is that of course the possibility exists that something was done in respect to this recorder um
I will tell you that by mistake, I have to say this, uh, I didn't read these instructions fully and I did plug one into a power bank. I did. I did this. I did this. Maybe, maybe the possibility is, maybe the possibility has is in it that it says right on the instructions on paper that this should be only plugged in a laptop. Let me demonstrate you something here. Let me just demonstrate you this. It's like all stuff. Difficult to how you may brought our me. But I want to know. Uh, it is you know so that's something definitely was done to this device here okay charge fully after connecting to computer the recorder will take two to three hours to be charged fully after connecting to computer via USB cable. Okay, so you should connect this to the computer uh, via USB cable. Uh, the indicator will flash while in a charging status. The indicator will become red when fully charged. The thing is, I did not get any kind of USB cable. You understand? I, it didn't come with any kind of USB cable. It came with uh, just just the way you see. It's a USB. Um, that's one of the things I'm gonna say. Well, actually, since this is kind of a crazy stuff, and it's demanding for me to even use a USB cable, and that's something I have not done. And it's something that when I did it today, it was exactly the same thing that, as, as I stated earlier, it would not even blink. I do want to make sure that basically I would see that if I connect one through the USB cable through the computer, that it should be blinking so that I would not really make a mistake this is my cable by the way this thing here uh it's connected to the laptop but it's not charged it's not fully charged it's not charged at all full it's not at all charged this thing is not blinking uh, it's actually a steady it's just a steady red light basically it's not blinking anything at all whether I connect this to the cable or whether I connect this straight to the laptop this laptop has got a very low power output very very extreme extremely low power output this should really, really not be a problem No, I did this. I don't mind admitting that I did. I did. I did connect one to to the power bank. I did this. I did this. Uh, if 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 it's the power bank that costs something like this, uh, then uh, what can I say? Yeah. Uh, however, I will tell you something you were able to see that once i connected one straight to the laptop it started to blink after it appears it got to the certain level charging itself for what man seven hours crap so after seven hours it stopped with a firm light and it started to blink which indicated it started to charge itself i don't understand any of this it's crazy why this thing would be charging itself so long and once charged why this shit would be working for two hours only 
I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take a educated guess that this item too was switched by the police that this is not my item actually I'm pretty sure especially because once you have seen this thing was open and it's too bad I didn't film that because the only thing I had to do is just open the thing and I don't like opening this kind of stuff I don't like doing this kind of stuff this is actually not difficult thing to open maybe I can open but I don't like doing this I don't like doing this kind of stuff I never open this kind of stuff the only thing the only reason why I open this kind of stuff is because it was opened there you go actually here where the crack is where this opening is the only thing you do is you pull apart and it opens itself up this is the interior of this thing here and uh, based on this battery that I see I don't actually even think that the battery comes in original way like this I think that there is a little punctures here on the side here this here I'm gonna try to demonstrate to you that does not precisely look like that this thing was not I'm sure you can see it that somebody did not have this in his hands that somebody was not doing something with it but when it comes to connectors uh, the way this stuff is connected here I don't think anybody no that's okay that's not a big deal I'm gonna attach that back it's practically not even working okay I don't think anybody was playing with that stuff so my educated guess is that somebody was playing with this stuff for some time look at that see the way the battery is that the battery right there that stuff doesn't look new to me this stuff here this does not look new to me you see the way this is the way that kind of stuff that's not new maybe it's new but I don't think it's new I don't think that that precisely this this here that it's got to be like this my guess my educated guess I am making right now this is not my item this item was switched by the item that was delivered to me from China especially because of what the scenario was, which was involved in MK Ultra, which suggested that uh, it will be switched okay so I am de definitely not paying to police for this crime. I'm definitely not financing Slovenian police. Uh, no fucking way am I gonna go and give anybody a clearance for a crime against myself. And I'm gonna be the one providing some clearance for somebody. This item was opened definitely was open I can see that on a battery and uh, this item <clears throat> according to MK Ultra scenario would be you know because of this stuff uh, because of this issue because of this stuff that I stated to you about how this police officer claimed me that I will be actually the one who will be eventually even uh, pain him to vindicate, vindicate him from my own claims uh, due to crime they performed against me uh, I kind of uh, became paranoid that the only thing they did was upon my return home was by using my item and they have just cracked open one a little bit 
so that I would go and say that they open. But based on the charging abilities, based on the battery, the way it looks inside, based on performance itself, which did not per outperform more than two hours of recording once it was fully charged, okay, that blinking that you see right there stopped and it, it was a solid red light, it appeared, which is according to instructions you have seen fully charged. <clears throat> It becomes fully charged. It becomes to me evident that it was a police officer who got a hold of this from Nova Mesta Police before I stopped by. It wasn't only the sign that was left to remind me of the scenario in front of the uh, Ljubljanska Banka here in Nova Mesta, but eventually it was a police officer who got a hold of this thing before I did. Okay, and this thing here at home this was just a nasty thing because the way they get you going the way they the way they get you do the stuff st say state stupid shit is by basically destroying you and shoes and everything you basically pay everything wherever wherever there is a chance to cause damage to cause harm they destroy they cause harm and it keeps you on a toes and it makes you state stupid shit. It makes you state wrong things that eventually can bring you into a real trouble. Okay? So I'm not paying for that mechanic. I am going to go and I will go now and request assistance, free legal aid assistance. I will go and I will press the charges against the car seller based also on what will be engine issues because through this car seller I'm going to get to the police. It's more than just about the car seller and eventually that's going to yield me the right to employment in Slovenia and stuff like this. This is how fucked up this situation is if you want to know. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have anything else to say. In the next audio, maybe I'm going to present you, maybe with my neighbors, the way it works. Uh, I like that. I like the idea about the way I interacted with a neighbor and his daughter in a very nice way. And the way he started to extort with this uh, MK Ultra scenario, in which he involved all the crime against me he committed reminded me literally claimed me just like my father that eventually I'm gonna go and I'm gonna snap at him and so on at one point damn sure that I will it's a pretty nasty MK Ultra scenario and not extortionist but whatever I stated earlier uh, he tried you see this is almost three hours long two hours and 35 minutes uh, he tried to create an incident as I returned from the city uh, you know uh, believe that I'm gonna snap at him whatever uh, for basically calling me in a face mentally ill and the guy is father-in-law from Donna Colenz who did all this tremendously a lot of damage participated in this crime against me since 1995 and he did this guy eventually had me in Serbia and Belgrade with him um, about the car what I can tell you Roma people knew about this car it was a police director Jana Zogorin They told me they're going to send these Roma people to collect the car from me. They appeared here for strange reason that they want to buy this. They see this car, they're going to buy one from me and so on and so forth. Man, uh, I am grateful to these people. They appeared here. The car, however, was not for sale anywhere. Uh, and they were willing to pay for the car anything I would ask. Now that's like really, really fucking generous, right? However, this offer 
uh, definitely would not work for me because this is a really one of the this is actually a fundamental proof about the crime against me this car right there so that I'm gonna use one before sale uh, I should say a request for damages uh, somewhere else first so it's still not for sale uh, the Roma people had this car inside of the shop the guy that I had met also had one inside of the shop and so on and so forth everybody involved in NK Ultra knew about this Citroen Sara uh, is a really really bad news so th this stuff is here it's in one piece it's closed I closed one down I figured out that once the neighbor opened one or was it a police officer, whoever was inside of the room from my father? Uh, uh, definitely, uh, that was not my mother. That's one thing that is certain, that definitely was not my mother. Um, if they did it, I didn't see the reason why wouldn't I? And what I did manage to point out that the battery was not exactly like the way it should be. And the police always took, the police officer investigators, when they bullied with these issues, they always accented that it's going to be the battery. It's going to be something with the battery. It's going to be battery. Yeah, they you order the stuff they already have before. Uh, and the only thing they do is they go and they replace with the stuff that is already being used, worn out, uh, or change the battery or something like this. Anything electronic, they told me it's always going to be about the battery. When it comes to destroying SD cards, uh, destroying SD cards, that was the biggest challenge to them because the low budget Chinese SD cards, uh, there is a, such a huge variety of them. They did find a, 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 a total solution with uh, some repair shops on how to cause the damage to the item uh, and with if only possible exchange of the product with some store uh, that would offer them um, a bad SD card basically for the new SD cards literally novel nest of police they involve repair shops absolutely computer shop where I have even gone to have the old computer cleaned up and so on and so forth. I don't have anything else to add to this uh, insane idea of the police officer that I'm going to be the one paying out of my pocket eventually uh, to compensate police crime against me. This here, this is, this is what I was this here is what I was eventually told don't even put this inside of my car by the police officer who sold me the car the first owner this that this was all moldy and stuff like this let me tell you this is so clean I can sleep every day on this stuff it was covered in mold the thing is that the first time you wash away mold the second time you create a strong soap from a baking soda soda bicarbona and you use the citrium uh, it's like a powder from the citrus the two things are killers of the mold and they are based on dryness the, the effect on the mold is based on the dry effect that the two have so what you do is you do it once you wash away the whole thing then you do it one more and you do it in a baking soda and you do it with the citrus then you do it one more you leave it maybe for uh, I don't know maybe 20 maybe something minutes whatever it is you do strong composition of it uh, so that it kills the mold as much as possible yeah 
and then you can do this again you can do it the third time the same thing and then you do it the fourth time the last time that's when you leave this thing for about an hour exactly inside of this soap it kills all the mold you don't have to worry about mold no more it's dry like pepper that's how you cure the clothing from the mold nobody managed to do this but yes it can be done according to mk ultra nobody managed that's all i wanted to say now you're welcome to go to the part number four to see the exhibition is how the exhibition is was involved heavily in torture who tortured uh how he presented himself at this stage uh, to me how he actually hoped he's going to trigger uh, in me some kind of response conflict that would give him the opportunity to involve other people against me that's my old neighbor here he's pa 92 years old um older than my father and if not causing a conflict uh, would insist in the same fashion the same way as the neighbor did Mohar and what I told what uh, the man from the village who inspected my car told me God forbid because it's his wife that works in a health care it was the Slovenian government who ordered him also to make a very similar claim to my neighbor here complain about the leg issue that he has a hole in, in his leg and the other guy that he has he's got a pain in elbows uh, and stuff like this without knowing why and he came out eventually that he had a tick is what his brother afterwards told me both they had already many years before and if you would say that they had many years before it's a paranoia it's a schizophrenia that kind of stuff and you're not going to prove me wrong and you're not going to prove me wrong and you're not going to prove me wrong unless we're going to go to the court and before we make an agreement with my neighbor with your neighbor basically that you let him go free yeah 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 that's how we go um, there is just one thing I got to tell you about my name you already know you know where I am and this here these are this is what's gonna counter all of your claims against me and go ahead and prove me wrong these are all the proofs physical proofs of the people i have identified from poland to czech republic to slovenia numerous in slovenia i have not even published yet here so when you think you have something against me in respect to some kind of unfunded disease mental illness for which by the way even the right to the second opinion from the second psychiatrist was taken away from me or for which by the way the right to court was taken away from me the court which at one point even determined that I was right was taken away from me that's not good that's not a good news for you so your claims lies basically against facts in this case still regardless of it i am not paying for the police for causing me the damage vindicate one from charges for the crime committed against me that's not what I'm doing I have even in the, uh, even identified all the investigators whom basically I have not physically seen yet all of them 
yet I started to concentrate myself on them and I started to pull them out of the memory as per who did what kind of crime against me and so on. I can do, I can take a date and time here. I was really in between when it comes to uh, I was really really in between you know heavily I was in between when it comes to this uh, issue involving this uh, recorder this little recorder because I wasn't sure was this item actually switched inside of my room with a new item I really was not sure what the hell is going on I wasn't sure is this uh, is this item that I have is this item actually is this item a new item my item I paid or is it the item they switched me with well according to performance according to what I have managed to obtain and I'm gonna repeat to you it was only in use one time that was yesterday for me to test the product this product managed only to record audio record no more than two hours that means that this is less this is with the battery that's got less than 35 percent of original battery capacity and that goes exactly along with the scenario that the police officer investigating police officer from the novel master police promised me the case is going to be fuck i'm not paying you for no vindication in this case you're guilty as charged here and you're going to get to the court i'm going to get you to the court this time 